It is the Country Cares for St. Jude Kids Radiothon here on My Country 95.5. And with us, we have a very special guest in studio. It's Lisa Burridge from Lisa Burridge & Associates, our title sponsor here for the Radiothon this year. Thank you so much for being a part of it, and thank you for joining us here on the air today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Nice to be here with you, Rick. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Lisa Burridge & Associates, because it seems like I always run into you. You're at all these community events. You're at all these charity events. How important is it to you to give back to the community? It's really important to us. You know, uh, this, this community has been so great to us, and uh, to give back is really something that's really part of our, of our core values. We really believe in giving back to uh, everybody that lives here, and so we are hopeful that what we do makes a difference. And we're here on behalf of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and we're talking about an amazing facility in Memphis, Tennessee. And a lot of folks go, well, that's too far away. We've got kids here that are sick. But a lot of folks don't realize that St. Jude is a hospital without walls. They share all their stuff freely. I think it's an awesome organization. And the research that they do, uh, not charging for the most up-to-date research. I mean, if somebody has a child here in Wyoming or here in Casper, uh, it's pretty incredible that they can get the, the latest research and it doesn't cost them anything at all. So St. Jude's is really, really good about sharing information with everybody and, in fact, around the world as well. Yeah, it costs St. Jude $1.9 million a day to operate, so it's very important, the, the things that we're doing here in Casper, Wyoming. And, and I say it time and time again, when we all give a little, we can accomplish great things together. And, and let's talk a little bit about you. I myself have a daughter. She's 19, and, and she's healthy, and she's in college. Yourself? You yeah, I've got an 18-year-old daughter that's in college and a 20-year-old son that's in college. It's healthy. Both of them are healthy. And you know, um, I just can't even imagine the devastation, I'm sure you feel the same way, that a parent would feel, or does feel, when they find out that their child has childhood cancer of some sort. Yeah, I couldn't imagine if the doctors came to me when my daughter was very young and said, you know, Mr. Darcy, we have an issue here, your daughter has cancer. I would, I would just be, and I am, when I'm, I'm here at this radiothon, I think about all the kids back mm -hmm. at the hospital, I think about the parents, but I also think about all the hope and the messages of inspirations, and we hear a lot of them here uh, throughout the radiothon over these two days. There is a lot of hope. Yeah, there is a lot of hope, and I think that um, so many people forget how, how important it is to have a positive outlook and to, and to have hope overall, you know, and I think that um, these folks, uh, I've seen them in, in hospitals before, you know, those parents do have an awful lot of hope and the children are bright and, and, and sunny and shiny and hopeful themselves and it really does make a big difference in the recovery of someone that's, that's ill like this. Yeah, and it's, it's hard for me to hear a child pronouncing words that I can't even pronounce, you yeah. know, a, acute lymphoblastic lymphoma, you know, yeah. it's like I, I shouldn't have to hear that from a four or five year old. And they shouldn't have to say it, and it's, it's so sad, but St. Jude's and the research that they do, I mean, I, I'm really hopeful, and I know you are as well, that uh, the research that they do continues to go on, and that folks that are in our community are generous and will continue to support St. Jude's through this Radiothon and beyond. Uh, to raise funds to help ch uh, childhood cancer be eliminated. And, and speaking of raising funds, your organization, Lisa Burge and Associates Real Estate, you guys are going to generate donations this weekend for yep. everybody that comes by your model homes. Tell us how we're going to do that. Absolutely. You know, for everybody that, that uh, visits one of our four model homes, they can find the locations in a newspaper, they can find them on the website. Um, everybody that comes through our Lisa Burge and Associates Real Estate will make a, an extra donation to St. Jude's Hospital. And you can find that information at MyCountry955.com uh, as well as the river 1079com uh, And you can find it as well at LisaBurge.com uh, as well. Um, another, let's talk a little bit about uh, the success rates at St. Jude. You know, when Danny Thomas first broke ground on the hospital, uh, the, the diagnosis of cancer it was pretty much a death sentence for kids. Right. You know, the survival rates were less than 20%. Now, thanks to St. Jude and their participation and many other hospitals around the world, uh, survival rates now for most childhood cancers up significantly, especially something like ALL. We went from 4% back in 1962 to 94% today. That's an amazing increase in that. And, and thankful, I'm thankful to Danny Thomas for starting that, you know, and really getting this kicked off. I mean, imagine, again, uh, the heartbreak of being a parent who finds out that your child has that illness and um, the hope that you can feel that the research is being done daily uh, is going to make a difference in your child's life. So all we're asking now is that you pick up that phone and call. Please Absolutely. dial. Absolutely. Please dial.